Uh, the reason the U.S. is here is the, the United States and my agency, which is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, is very interested in migratory species. We're interested in all species. Migratory species is a part of them. And we've been actively involved in their conservation regardless of what treaties we belong to or do not belong to. So the conservation of these species isn't so much what we're members of, but rather what we actually do in the field. So we're here because we know that our work relates very, very strongly to what CMS does. And in fact, uh, this isn't the first time we've been here. We've actually come to meetings before. I just have not come. So we have sent representatives from the country to quite a few of the recent COPs. But I felt it was time that I came myself uh, just because I hadn't been to a COP. I do believe very strongly in what the convention focuses on. And so I wanted to sort of see for myself how it works. As I mentioned briefly yesterday, just as a really good example, there's this initiative called WIMSI, the Western Hemisphere Migratory Species Initiative. Well, what's that? That is an umbrella initiative to help bring together all the diverse groups that are working on migratory species. Most of, this, most of the groups are working on a particular taxon. They work on shorebirds, they work on seabirds, they work on land birds. But they all work in a very disparate way, very separate way. And they also cover different ranges. And what WIMSI intends to do is to try to embrace the interest of all those groups on a hemispheric level. Because the other thing about those groups is they were, most of them are generated in the United States. And so they have a very United States oriented flavor. So how do we get Latin America more engaged and get their interests reflected? So the United States, this is just one example, for about six or seven years now has been helping to create whimsy as an umbrella to bring together groups and conserve in an organized way the migratory species of the Western Hemisphere. And so what's happened is that bird conservation in the United States over the past hundred years has come in stages. And it normally has come based on taxa, different groups. So now there's a niche of, you can count, you have what we call an alphabet soup of groups that are working on different groups of birds. But though, now, in the United States, when we do something like waterfowl or shorebirds, we say, gee, those birds leave our country. So then we go south and we try to engage other countries in Latin America, except it's an initiative we have already been created, that we have already created. We have not involved them in the process. So how do we get them to be a partner to want to care? So what Wimsey's tried to do is to say, you know what, we need a lot more input from Latin America. We need Latin America to be an equal partner in conserving these birds because they own these birds just as much as we do. So one part of Wimsey is to promote that dialogue. The other part of whimsy is to say if we have more if we have more conversations on a hemispheric scale, the new initiatives won't just automatically start in the United States. They might start with the whole group talking together from the beginning. So that future bird initiatives or any migratory species initiative would be done as a result of a dialogue that takes place right in the beginning, not creating it in one part of the region and then trying to sell it to another part of the region. That's a very, very important part of what Lindsay can accomplish.